to the Kindigi Bag and Paint for another Art and Soul workshop where we combine our um, uh, expertise. expertise. So we meditate and then we um, paint. So yeah, in this room, imagine tables, tables. a big table, communal table. Yeah, it's so nice. You find lots of like minded people and an opportunity to, again, just to stop and slow down and talk, share ideas. Three hour workshop, again, it seems, sounds quite long, but it always, we always go over. We always go over. <laughs> so we never finish. No, really. um, it flies by. It really does quickly. fly by. And um, we do a lot, more. don't we? We fit a lot in. We do fit we a lot in. We meditate for half an hour, guided yeah. meditation. We also do some we reflect, we reflect fo on fo focus mm -hmm. exercise, breathing exercises a little bit. We share, mm -hmm. so we go deep. Yeah. Maybe share. We don't have to, but normally everyone wants normally to. Normally, because they want to, yeah. And then what you find in your meditation, those images, you yes. we bring it so to the your pottery. Sort of transfer onto our pottery, so they very much inspire our designs and use of colour. Colour choices are really important. And um, what we're trying to do is capture that moment of serenity and strength that you feel after your meditation on the pottery so that when you take that home it's a little prompt to take you back to that feeling in that moment and it does it does uh, yeah so every you know uh, previously we've done um, oil burners so every time i light my candle in my oil burner i'm taken back to that moment so it's it automatically takes me back there and helps me slow down and remember my breathing and you do remember, don't you? Yeah. You might remember images from the yeah. meditation, mm -hmm. which are important for you because you work with symbols. Mm. It's a symbolism of your unconscious mm. mind. Again, it's good. As we mentioned before, it's looking at our inner self um, yes. and paying attention it's to that. It's always about, now that we are speaking about it, it's always about finding your inner self. We have to trust our our instincts go a little bit more, you know, um, yeah, so when within reason, <laughs> but... I mean, definitely you need to have your reason, but you need to also have your intuition, and the two have to be really together, mm -hmm. like, for they can, yeah. they are important, not only the practical, practicalities are important, mm -hmm. but if you only deal with those, you, you're going to lose connection with your soul, and if you lose connection with your soul, mm -hmm. life is really miserable. Mm -hmm. Art and soul, in yes. that sense, is a really nice thing, isn't it? Yeah. It yes. has many aspects. It does. It's a great it works on lots of different levels. Yeah, so I think we can just uh, summarize that come mm -hmm. here if you want to connect with your soul, express yourself in creative mm -hmm. art forms mm -hmm. or be silent <laughs> in the classes. Mm -hmm. Work on yourself, definitely. Yeah. Give yourself time. It's a good way to create space and time in your life mm. and you're not going to regret it because the next day and the next day you're going to be feeling much yep. better. Yeah. And allow so, yourself to, to, to do that. In that. Yeah. 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 So we are looking forward to meeting you and be well, stay well and hope to see you soon. <laughs>